Hi folks, Greg Peters with Superior Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Conway. Uh, it's our fifth annual Mopars only Patriot Day car show in remembrance of 9-11, never forget. Um, and uh, we're just gonna show you a, a bunch of the cars we got out here. We got old school, we got new school, we got cars, we got trucks, uh, a lot of cool people, some killer barbecue, and uh, we'll be doing some burnouts after the show, and uh, we're gonna give out some awards today, but a lot of really cool people out here, some are customers, some are people that, who are just coming out and like to show off their toys and have fun. And, you know, they, we just like to come out and do this. Remember 9-11. Remember, you know, uh, that day in our country's time and it was just a bad deal. But, hey, a lot of good has come from it since that time. We got the military out here with us, Bob Robbins and Sharp Dunaway doing the video. But um, main thing, we just want to show you around, make sure you all have fun, kind of see what we do. And there's nothing like coming out here to it. So take the Dave Ward exit. Resist. 79 model Dodge Little Red Express truck. I used to be in love with these things when I was a kid. My dad had a car lot right behind Jacksonville Dodge and I would I would sneak over there just to look at these things. So cool. Hey y'all meet Phil. Got a really cool charger here. Phil tell us about your car. Uh, it's a 69 charger. It's, uh, it's a special edition. It's a uh, factory yellow uh, big block car. Cool. Which is faster, the car or the model? I don't know if y'all can see the model, but check out the model. He's got a model of his car. Yeah, well, my son made that. Uh, he'd tell you the model is. <laughs> cool. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right, here we got my mom. Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to butt in, but hey, I don't get to catch my mom up here at the lot. This is Alice, my mother. She's really awesome, super sweet. I mean, just like an earthbound angel. Hi, mom. Hi. What are you doing <laughs> running around here messing with this stuff? You should be trailing them trucks. Well, there you go. Love you too. Uh, we got Adam here. Uh, it's got a really cool combo. Uh, the Indy truck, uh, which I remember selling brand new. They were really awesome. But uh, here's something you don't see every day. Mopars are not just on the street. This one's on the water. What kind of motor you got in this thing, Adam? It's a uh, 426 Hemi Chrysler. It looks like a beast. How fun is this thing on the water? <laughs> well, it's a handful, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I bet. I'm going to say there's a lot of uh, behind puckering going on with this yes, thing. <laughs> Absolutely. I have been completely shot down in flames. I'm used to it from the ladies, but this gentleman over here does not like me and would not talk to me about his car. But he's got a really cool 1970 Cuda 340. Uh, this thing is beautiful. I saw it this morning at the light coming into work, and I was like, man, I would love for this guy to show up at the show lo and behold he shows up beautiful car really really cool uh, another really cool rig srt 10 uh, truck with an actual viper motor in a pickup truck so uh you know that makes it cool me being a country boy i love a fast pickup so this is a really cool machine remember selling these brand new they don't make them anymore so really cool collector's piece and uh right here next to it a lot of people don't think about mopars when they think jeeps but hey another really cool mopar man you gotta love a jeep wrangler the Viper truck is one thing, but hey, how about the Viper? Coolest thing that they ever come out with. Very exotic, American-made automobile. Pure American muscle, really, really cool. And you got two of the prettiest ones I've ever seen right here. Uh, Bill Sams here has got this cool Daytona. Bill, tell us about this car. I've never seen one of these. Well, this is probably one of one. I mean, it uh, they make these packages, and uh, but it, it's really difficult to put together. and. Uh, you know, it's just a cool car. It started out as a Challenger RT and uh, did all these modifications, gutted the inside, redid all the seats, and uh, it's got different wheels on it, uh, powered by Hemi. Um, it's just a really nice car. It runs just, and drives good. Just cool American muscle, man. That is a really cool car, yeah. man. It takes me back. You know, I've had uh, I've had like five Superbirds and uh, one Daytona, a real Daytona, and. This is kind of all the high technology, but with the old car look. Uh, right here, we got a Plymouth Satellite Hemi car. Belongs to Kim Presley, good customer of ours and a good friend of mine. Um, this is his toy car. Uh, we got the Superbirds in on the showroom that belong to him that are more of the show pieces. But uh, I can promise you, Ken will be in this beast later doing a burnout. Really cool car, and man, it doesn't get any redder than that.
Uh, here we got Steve with the 70 model Roadrunner. I love this car. This thing is beautiful. Steve, tell us about your car. This is a 1970 model Roadrunner six pack, original six pack car. Um, came out just exactly the way it is, really. I can't verify that the back fin was on the car when it came, but everything else is pretty much exactly the way it came. Are you married, Steve? Yes, I am. Are you? How much did your wife hate this car when you go out riding in it without her in it? She doesn't say anything. My wife's really easy to get along with. See, if she sees this, she's going to know that. <laughs> cool. Well, hey, can you honk the horn for us? Sure. All right, cool. You got to hear this. Too cool. <laughs> hey, what's your name again? PFC Leach. PFC Leach. I'm Greg, by the way. Uh, we appreciate having the military out here for the Patriot Day car show. Uh, of course, Patriot Day in remembrance of 9-11. Your personal opinion, how important is it that all of America needs to remember 9-11? Oh, absolutely. It's made a huge impact since 2001. I mean, we're still fighting continuously every single day trying to make the same progress over and over and over. And I mean, for me, it's important because I feel like we have plenty of people that we need to remember from 2001, the initial attacks, but also all the people who have continued to fight since then and who will continue to fight for years to come. So Very well put. God bless y'all. God bless America. Absolutely. This is a new turn of events. I get to interview Bob Robbins. So uh, we got Bob, we got Skinny Man, and we got Peggy, who is obviously the best looking one of the entire bunch. Uh, watch it, watch it. Hey, <laughs> hey Bob, uh, did you know this was a Mopar rally or did you think it was the Mohair rally? I wish it was the Mohair. <laughs> if you could help me with the Mohair. That ain't hey. all bad, is it? No, it's not too bad. You're doing pretty good. But at least you got the hat. Susan will keep you around for a little bit. Hey, I hear Skinny Man's got a new challenger. Is that right? Yeah, I yes, I do. We've got it. And this is a place to get one. 2014 Purple Challenger. It's my wife's. But this is the place, guys. If you want one, he'll hook you up. And look what's behind us right now, too. Another Challenger. Isn't that beautiful? Yep, absolutely. And that's a 2015 that's been redesigned. And we'll deal on those babies, too. And uh, She got a ticket the other day in hers. Rock and roll. That's how you're supposed to drive a Challenger. <laughs> 74 in a 35-mile zone. <laughs> She's my new hero. Say hi, Peggy. Hi, everyone. Drive <laughs> slow in your Challengers. <laughs> Bye, Bob. <laughs> 69 Dodge Coronet RT here, beautiful car. I don't know who owns it. I'm sure he's wandering around here looking at a bunch of this other cool stuff, but this is a really beautiful car. I just had to point it out. All right, got a 69 Dodge Charger 500. Really cool car, beautiful car. Always makes me think of uh, Dukes of Hazard. I mean, I'm just waiting to hear Waylon Jennings' voice. Very cool car. You know, uh, we got Nick here with us, and uh, he's got the Black Widow Charger. Uh, a cool thing about Mopars, man, you know, you see all the old cars, and, and they're awesome, and they're tough, and they got the big motors with a lot of horsepower, but the modern-day Mopars have a ton of horsepower, too, which is cool. It's almost like they brought the 60s and 70s back. Uh, man, tell us about the Black Widow. Beautiful car. Uh, it's just 2012 Black Widow, 5.7 liter Hemi. It's uh, just built it from the bottom up. It's just the logos are custom logos for myself. And uh, went to went to California. The CEO of Chrysler liked it and and signed even signed the vehicle over there. I see that. That guy, I met him in Vegas. He's head of the SRT, which is the uh, the high-performance division of Dodge, and signed the car. That's just too cool. Are you married by chance? Yeah, sure am. How does your wife feel about you driving this car without her in it? Uh, she doesn't care. She, she drives it, too. So it's Some a, of you guys got it made. It's an everyday car, an everyday driver. So beautiful car man thanks thanks <laughs> all right here we're we're with artesia and uh and her beautiful challenger this is really cool i like the headrest it says stock baby and uh she's got a big fan following back here because everybody's taunting her <laughs> y'all oh <laughs> see that look at it i mean these guys ain't nothing but trouble i can see it They're at least at least they put the beer up uh artesia <laughs> tell us about your challenger it's a baby it's a v6 but it looks like a v8 but, it, but it'll roll like a V8, it too. It'll roll like a V8. That's why it's stock, baby. Mostly stock and the baby of all challenges, the V6. It's pretty. I love the Thank colors, you. and I like the flashing lights on the front, yes. too. Thank you. Do the police give you any trouble with that? I don't run them. There you go. They'll get me. 
<laughs> They'll get me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, the cool thing about the car business is a lot of times uh, customers, you know, we get a lot of really cool customers and they end up our friends. This is one of those guys. Mr. Caldwell is just a really cool guy. Always comes around, always shows up at the car shows. Got a really cool car and a really cool old Dodge truck that he pulls it with. Uh, tell us about your car. It's a 74 Dart Sport 360. Uh, it's a, a drag car with a 904 transmission, eight and three quarter and uh, 430 gears. Do you ever take it out on the street any? Yes, uh, right now it doesn't have exhaust system, but yes, it is street legal. Uh, how many tickets have you gotten in it? Uh, none in this, but uh, I've got an 010 Challenger and I've got a ticket in that. How many women under the age of 25 have you picked up in this car? Uh, zero. That, that's what I would say if my wife was standing right there yeah. too. All right, we got James here with the funny car, Culprit here. Uh, James, tell me about this car, man. This is a really cool car. Oh, thanks, thanks. It's a original Southern California car, 72 Demon. It uh, originally the Sundancer. They repainted it in 1976 with this paint job. It's still on the car. I plan on probably storing it, restoring it back to the original paint job. Right now it's got a 440, uh, two four barrels on it, but I'm gonna go back with an injected Hemi on alcohol. Cool, do you still race it? Yes, yes, we race it probably three, four times a year, nostalgia events, maybe some local tracks, events like that. All right, this guy's got the greatest name ever, Herb Beer. That's right, Beer. Um, he's got a really cool car here. Herb, tell us about your car. Well, I bought this car originally uh, July 4th of 1998 out of Topeka, Kansas. This is a car that I wanted when I bought my original Dart new in 1967 and could not afford. It would have been $800 more money in 67. So I waited a number of years, finally got my convertible. It was a slant six and over the years it's evolved into the monster you see here. It's 512 cubic inches, homemade fuel injection system, uh, more mods on it than you can even begin to talk about. But yeah, it's kind of my pride and joy. That's one of the things I remembered about this car was you designed this fuel injection system that you got on here, and this thing is a complete beast, and you can bet he will be doing a burnout later, more won't you, Herb? Li more than likely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Herb. You're welcome. Here we have one of the members of the notorious Floyd family, um, uh, well-known outlaws around central Arkansas. His father is a legendary outlaw. Uh, matter of fact, I think he's running from the police right now, Butch Floyd. But uh, anyway, tell us about this beautiful green Challenger, Hemi car well you know greg i got it here because this is the only place to get the only place to get six speed automatic stick shift all that stuff so got that got the hood from y'all y'all cut me a deal on that stuff so had to make you proud had to make it look good had to bring it out here today and represent so that's right and i appreciate that and i will be giving you your ten dollars and free barbecue sandwich for saying that works for me <laughs> he really did buy this from us so beautiful car all right, uh, here we got Ken Presley, who is a good customer of ours and a good friend of ours. Uh, this is a couple more of his toys in here. Um, Ken, tell us about this car with the uh, factory towel rack. Uh, it's a 1970 Superbird. Uh, they made 1,900 of them for NASCAR racing. This is a four-speed Tour Red, four barrel. Uh, it's all original. How many burnouts have you done in this car? Uh, four or five. Have you gotten any speeding tickets in it? Not recently. How many girls under the age of 28 have you picked up in it? Uh, no comment. Okay, trivia question. What Spice Girls video was a super bird featured in? Excuse me? Good answer. <laughs> <laughs>